we, we could talk more leisurely at the end of my talk. All right? Okay. So uh, let me teach you a little bit further. What I would like to teach you now is uh, how do how does one construct uh, wave functions for the harmonic oscillator system? So I have already told you how to construct ground state, one particle state, two particle states, and particle state. Okay. And then we can construct wave functions corresponding to them. So how do we do that? This is what I would like to, to teach you. So uh, let me initially give you an idea how we go about it and then we can see. Uh, so for example, uh, Construction of wave function for one dimensional harmonic system. Now, as you know, if you apply the animation operator to the vacuum state, what you get is zero, obviously. Now, if I apply f prime, this would be zero too. So that means, or, or, or if I put uh, a dagger operating on vacuum state would give me one particle wave function, one particle state. So if I multiply this by f prime, graph f prime, f prime, then this would give me. x prime a dagger give. Okay? So our idea is to understand these objects. Okay? If we could successfully, it's very simple as you can see. Okay? It's very simple. So I have this animation operator operating on vacuum to be zero. I multiply it with this graph vector, x prime, then this would also be zero. Similarly, if I have one particle state, which is k dagger operating on that one, this will create one particle. Okay? So I can just corresponding wave function. Accordingly, you would if you like, you could write s prime operating on 2. And that should give you that should give you wave function corresponding to the two particle state. So this would be s prime k dagger a dagger and zero. Maybe divided by the square of two. Okay? Alright? Is that fine? So that's our goal. And how do we proceed with this? So initially we have the definition of k which is an omega by 2x cross and time x plus iota p divided by m omega. We know this. Okay? We know this. Our, our standard definition of a. Now, we define, we produce a new constant, a zero square, which is x cross divided by m omega. In the, in the book, it is, it is defined as, as zero square. Okay? The JJ Sakurai calls it F0. Is this okay? Alright? Good. So, with this definition, I can re express my A as uh, 1 divided by C0 square root of 2x plus B0 divided by F cross square root of 2 times. Okay. So this should be a trivial algebra which you, would be, you should be able to do. Okay. 
no physics involved, only some algebraic manipulations and you can write, re-express your A which is given initially using N and omega in terms of A0. Is this fine? Yes? Alright. Now we will try to solve. So uh, now uh, if we apply so our uh, ground statement function should be psi zero of x prime. This should be x prime zero. Okay. This should be x prime zero, and your psi one of x prime would be x prime. One psi two of x prime would be x prime two, and so on. Okay. Correct. Is this okay? Yes? Yes. Okay. So that means I would I would like to uh, I would like to solve this further and let us see what we get. So here is my A and I would like to evaluate this object. I would like to evaluate this object. So I have zero equal to x prime a and zero. Is this okay? So I will apply this here and this is x prime. Now this is one divided by the zero square root of two times x plus the zero by x cross square root of t and two and i t and oh I must put a vertical line here and a vertical line here. Is this alright? Okay? Good, very good. So then you see if you know separately how to calculate x prime x and zero and this is one object and x prime b of zero. If you know how to calculate these two objects, then you can separately calculate them and put them back here. And then that should solve the problem. Okay? Is this fine? Okay, good, very good. So uh, let us let us solve them one by one. And let me let me first solve this. Okay? This I have more space here, so let me let me do this. But for solving this, I would make use of our well-known concept of the uh, infinite decimal space transmission operator. We have done it at length and we just redo it. So, uh, E delta x prime alpha is equal to dx prime delta x prime x prime x prime alpha and this uh, e let me write separately e delta x prime is equal to 1 minus iota by x cross b delta prime is this okay? Is this okay? This, these are well known things to us. We know them already. Very good. So we want to make use of this. And then we apply this here. So this would become, let me write it from here, the x prime. And this would be x prime plus delta x prime. Okay? So this gets translated by this. And this is my x prime alpha. We know that this is eventually going to be the wave function psi alpha of x prime. Okay? Correct? 
Rate of change of this quantity, which is changed per unit. 